Hi guys, sorry because I'm using a bandy cam, the uh, free unregistered version. <laughs> I will uh, I will register soon. Thank you, bandy cam. Okay, so uh, so the limitation is uh, ten minutes uh, each video, so I have to run the output on another video, which is part three, which is just a very short one. Okay, all right. So have a look. So I'm gonna run this program using array, right? Run program. And as you can see, I have student one. So enter your name. So the first student will be RJ. Uh, enter quiz one, maybe two. Uh, midterm, 45. And your age is maybe 21. Okay, then I have student two. Okay, maybe Shafika. I'm not sure if I spell it correctly. Uh, then I have three. Okay. Uh, maybe 46, 19, okay, so then 3, Najwa maybe, uh, enter quiz 1, 5, uh, 59 maybe, 3, eh, hey, sorry, H, Najwa, what is your age? 20 maybe? Yeah, okay, student 4, um, Neville, Maybe I'm not sure if I spell it correctly. Uh, quiz. I'm sorry, guys. Um, all the names here, I just guess, even though it sounds like some of you in your class, but it's not actually you. <laughs> quiz one three, mid uh, uh forty seven. Maybe okay. And your age is nineteen. Okay. Sorry. Uh, and last one is uh, maybe I use Taya. Taya. Taya, what is your full name? I forgot. But uh, Taya Dunlop. No, 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 no. Just joking. Taya, okay. Taya, uh, your quiz one will be five. Midterm will be 52 maybe. Okay. And your age is maybe you're the youngest. Okay. 18. And so I have key information for all five students, right? So when I display, I'll display each and every one of it. As you can see. So now, when I use structure, right, okay, I can now have some sort of like a template to define, right, to define the data, the data, the data cluster that I'm using for, for each student's information that I would like to store. So this can be applied in many different areas, okay, you can use it for cars maybe, right, struck cars, right, then uh, you have year made, brand, uh, uh, horsepower, CC, okay, or you can use it for many other different things uh, to categorize. Basically, we have this structure to categorize and and and, and to cluster them okay, into necessary uh, necessary um, relation of the data types or the identifiers within how we would like to define our data within a group. Okay, so that's what structure is all about. Uh, adding to that, I'm going to add another keyword here. If you can see, it's called the type def. Okay. When I use type def, it means type definition. So, as you can see here, each time I would like to create a new structure variable like stud, I would have to keep writing struct student, struct student, struct student, struct student. Okay. I can shorten that by using type def, struct student. Okay. If I put type def here and here, I'm going to put st, for example, type def. This always correlate with this. You have to, okay, type def and then st, okay. What I can do now is I can replace the whole struct student with just st student. Looks nice, better, correct, okay. So now I can keep on using st to create new structure variable rather than having to type struct student, struct student all the time. So that's basically uh, why or, or how we use uh, type definition in this case. I hope um, so far so good. Uh, please try uh, and follow along uh, in, 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 in writing this simple program to enhance your understanding on how we can use structure, how we can apply structure, what is the usage of structure, how do we use structure, the syntax of structures and uh, after this, you can actually ask me questions during Webex session and we can clear up uh, anything that is not clear uh, for your learning clarity and uh, to further enhance your understanding.
all right so guys be safe this is uh the first part of three videos uh, about structures that i recorded okay uh, of course i can actually record um uh explaining all this uh which is how uh structure is being used but these are the things that you can read okay you can read and you can ask me questions during webex okay like uh, how technically you can see the data being arranged in in this case and how do you access the member okay but uh, i show you the whole program programming it uh we do the program step by step from from scratch to show you how uh, we can use that okay and oh one more thing before i forget okay you can also use pointer with structure okay you can use pointer with structure so for example if let's say instead of uh, having uh start as, as a normal variable okay and i would like to declare this as a pointer right the only difference when you use a pointer is that you do not use dot but you use arrow like this like this like this same thing here arrow 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 and arrow so uh, from the perspective of uh, pointer I, I can remove this now from the perspective of pointers you can see that actually the pointer which is the asterisk sign will have to be used in the body of, uh, of, of the program each time you want to use the pointer right correct um, but when it comes to structure okay even though you declare stud as basically a pointer right but when you actually apply it for use there's no need for you to put the asterisk in the front just like how you do it conventionally okay so it is just stud i and you just replace the dot with an arrow okay and if you run this program and everything will work fine okay right see but if say you use a pointer oops sorry say if you use a pointer but you do not use the arrow you use the dot you will be getting syntax error see and vice versa right so this is how you can also use pointer uh in structure so you have structure you learn so today we learn about structure we learn about type definition we learn how you can access the structure. There are two different ways of uh, accessing the structure variables. Uh, if it is a normal structure variable, you use the dot operator. If it is a pointer, then you use the arrow uh, operator. And how you can apply it with repetition structure, how you can loop this, how you can access it, and so on. Okay, so I hope my videos um, clear enough for your kind understanding if you uh, still couldn't understand certain part i apologize this is the first time i'm doing videos like this i hope uh, it can do more benefit than harm uh, but we can always have another platform to discuss what you don't understand and improve on that okay guys hopefully this is fruitful hopefully these videos will help you through the uh, home study and I'll see you. Hopefully the situation get better and see you back in class. I will also announce to you when we will have the Webex, Webex session. Okay, guys? All right. All in all, have a great day. Stay safe. Stay put. Stay at home. Do not, do not go out if, if it's not necessary. And uh, be kind to yourself. Okay? Be good. Bye-bye.